panic disorder is an anxiety disorder, which are sudden attacks of raw panic and fear. Uh, and these attacks can happen for at least a duration of several minutes. These are also known as panic attacks. Panic attacks are caused due to reaction of stress or fear, uh, but these can also occur randomly or out of the blue. Uh, this is usually an environmentally caused disorder, however genetics, brain function, and brain anatomy can all play a part in it as well. Uh, the symptoms include sudden and repeated attacks of overwhelming fear, a uh, feeling of being out of control, which is usually centered around a certain theme, uh, worrying about uh, future attacks uh, and the avoidance of certain triggers. Uh, there are also physical symptoms uh, and these are caused through the stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system and the amygdala. Uh, and these physical symptoms closely resemble uh, the symptoms and reactions you would have during an actual physical threat. Uh, breathing and heart rate rapidly increase, causing uh, chest pain, blood pressure increases, which causes sweating, uh, digestion shutting down uh, causes nausea, uh, blood shunting uh, causes numbness and tingling in the hands and feet, uh, and fighting the natural defense mechanism of the fetal position uh, can cause shaking uh, and muscle spasms. Panic disorder can be treated, but not cured. It is usually addressed through psychotherapy and medication. Cognitive behavioral therapy uh, is used and to help teach ways to change uh, thinking, behavior, uh, and reacting to certain triggers. Uh, different types of medication are used for specific reasons. Uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, SNRIs, and beta blockers are used for long-term neurotransmitter uh, and hormone uh, chemical management. And these medications are like uh, Zoloft, Zimbalta, and Zebeta, uh, which are listed for the respective classes. Benzodiazepines are sedatives that are used for short-term management. Uh, and these medications are like uh, Xanax or Ativan. Panic disorder usually uh, starts and begins at an early uh, adulthood, usually around 20. However, it can start uh, during childhood as well. Uh, two to three percent of Americans uh, ye uh, experience panic disorder within a given year and is twice as common uh, in women as it is in men. Uh, this can be considered as a debilitating uh, or crippling disorder. Uh, as it can consistently affect and interfere daily life. Uh, it can cause people to miss work, it can cause people to uh, cancel doctor appointments, uh, and it can cause people to shut out and cancel uh, social plans or interactions, uh, which in combination uh, can develop into agoraphobia, which is the fear of the inability to escape. Uh, when left untreated, panic disorder can cause uh, health risks as well as a premature death. Uh, addressing symptoms and talking to your doctor about your symptoms is the first step to getting better.